Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Eric. If you're new, please subscribe. Today we're going to take a little bit of a break from the Attack Evo X and we're going to go check out an actual TME Evolution 6.5 at my buddy Gabe's place. So let's go check this thing out. Alright, so I'm here with Gabe in his awesome TME Evo 6.5. So, Gabe, if you don't mind telling me and the viewers a little bit about yourself. Alright, so I'm a Air Force. I lived in Japan for four years, so that's when I kind of fell in love with the old school Evos. Um, I had, before that, I had an Evo 9 in the US and went to Japan, and the ultimate Evo for me was the Tommy Mackin edition. So this is actually the second TME I've owned. My first one was an RS model I brought back. Uh, I ended up selling that one to uh, a Adam YouTuber. Adam LZ, right? Yeah, Adam yeah. LZ. So he bought that one. That was uh, the RS model. Um, but I was living in Vegas. I got orders to New Mexico, middle of nowhere. So I moved there. The car was sitting for two years, and it was just nothing. Was, it was gathering dust. So I just decided to get rid of it, which... Uh, once I got orders back here and was without one, I decided I needed another one, so I picked this up not too long ago, and now I'm back in a TME. I still think it's the best Evo there is. I agree with him on that because, I, although I've never driven one, but it is my dream car to have an Evo 6, so I gotta say, yeah, these cars are definitely amazing. You do have a unique story with that, like the car that you sold Adam LZ, uh, you built it for track pretty much. I mean you put a whole cage in it and uh, the motor was built on it And you did take it out to the track and uh, ran it a couple of times, right? Yeah, yeah, I would do um, I did quite a few track days. I even entered in some red line time attack uh, Races in California when that was a series. Oh, uh, man so. that yeah red line time attack. That's that's <laughs> old school, man Yeah, so I had it set up for for that series. So that's what the cage was done, but uh, that cage was also in the Fabricator series, the YouTube channel. Uh, I believe that was the first cage he did on for his channel, and that's how where his channel began. So that car does have a little bit of YouTube history. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's you can find, if you're curious about that one, you can always look those videos up, either Adam LZ or the fabrica Fabrication series, and get a closer look at what I've done to that one. But that one was fully built for track, and this one I want to keep more street friendly, but no. Uh, a little more fun than stock, I'd say. Yeah. So that's my plans, but yeah. Like I said, these are, I think, the best ones they made. I've owned a 10, I've owned a 9, I've owned a 4. Uh, I've got a 6 over here also, uh, but yeah. That's pretty amazing. I mean, this guy, he loves Evos, and I don't blame him. You know, I'm passionate about them as well. So you obviously know your Evos, and uh, you definitely have modded quite a few of them, it sounds like. So on this one, what is done to it? So this one I'm just getting started out. So what I first thing I did to it was put an RS diff in there and uh, uh, the RS a short gearbox, short ratio gearbox. Other than that, it's got a twin disc um, clutch and then the interior. It just came with the different seats. Uh, it's got titanium exhaust, titanium um, exhaust manifold cover. Um, so just a few small things, mostly appearance right now. But uh, now I just got to decide what I want to do to make it a little more fun. So I might go with a stock frame turbo um you're thinking maybe something like the uh, fp green or yeah like 54. 54 something that'll give me a good 400 ish 450 horsepower i think i'll be plenty happy with that yeah and <laughs> just keep it fun on the streets what uh what does this roughly like what does this car weigh would you say it's like 2900 or less than 2900 pounds so the gsrs weigh 29 and some chains the rs models weighed under 2800 pounds i think it was like 2780 so there's about a 200 pound difference between the gsr and the rs models okay so either way it's still under 3,000 pounds all wheel drive a lot yeah. of fun so yeah my evo 9 it was like 3100 pounds and the fp green it was a blast so i could only imagine what this thing would be like with the fp green or something similar to the 54 so cool man um, I know we talked about it a little bit earlier uh, about that car, the Evo 6 that's over here, and you're going to have that thing for sale soon, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting some uh, boost leaks taken care of, and then I'm going to list it for sale. I'm looking to get 28000 for that one, and cool. that should be listed in the next 
a month or so. If you guys are interested in it, you can hit me up and I can contact Gabe for you and uh, get you guys in contact. There's that diff, that's crazy. So this is like the first time that I have ever been in a right-hand drive car. Oh my gosh. I, I miss that quick spooling turbo. It's, that's nutty. It's so crazy. And you mentioned before how like, how raw these cars are. And you, pre you prefer this over any of the other ones. And I think I get it. I think I get it now. Yeah, like I said, I deleted the AYC. Dang. <laughs> and that's, that's stock turbo, stock motor. So motor's untouched, the turbo's stock. Uh, like I said, I did um, upgrade to the short ratio RS transmission and, um, and rear diff. The Tommy Magnets have the shorter steering rack, so it's a lot more sensitive on the steering. Way more sensitive than the 9. That's crazy. Yeah, so just every little input you put into this car, you definitely get communication back times 10 from your normal car. So that's why I've always loved these cars. I mean, I'm a big car guy in general, so I've owned a lot. I've owned a little bit of everything, American, uh, Japanese, Euro. Like I have a GT350 in the garage. Before that, I had a Alfa Romeo 4C. So I, I just enjoy cars, but I will always own an Evo. Like that's one car I will always own. Everything else has just been kind of swapped out. But these are just to meet my favorite platform all around. It's a do everything car. And it's just driving it is just completely enjoyable. Well, you got me sold on it, man. I mean, this thing is, I, like I said, the steering rack and just like the turbo, how it kicks on so quickly. Uh, it feels like a go-kart, man. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. That diff is crazy. I remember when I uh, did the plate swap on my Evo 9, and all of a sudden, like, I was hearing that sound, and I was like, what the heck is that? And that's just like a, a proper diff. Holy cow. Do you got a boost gauge in here? Do you roughly know like how many pounds of boost you're hitting? No, like no boost gauge. Just um, like I said, motor's been stock, so they didn't install this uh, Defy um, gauge that uh, keeps track of like water temps and all that, but there is no boost gauge, so that's definitely something I'll be installing soon. But, and then just to give you an idea of how short ratio the box is, we're sitting at, in top gear, which is a five speed at 3,000 RPMs, we're doing 90 kilometers. So that is less than 60 miles an hour. Okay. Man. Oh my gosh. This is wild. So it and is this... kind of hard to get used to when I'm cruising on the freeway. I'm sitting at 4,000 plus RPMs doing 70-ish. <laughs> yep, that's the thing about the Evos, man. It's just... Five-speed gearbox. This thing sounds so amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. So I do need to do an autocross soon, just because yeah, stock this, form, it'll be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, this car would be a blast in autocross. But unfortunately out here in Vegas, we have to wait until the fall again, because it's summertime right now, and uh, they definitely don't do any autocross, so. But man. What is, uh, is that like a shift light, the, the beeping? Yep, yeah, it's a. Uh, shift light with the sound. That's cool. So this gauge, it covers, uh, like I said, it has a speed, water temp, oil temp, voltage, and just oil pressure. So 
so I do need to get the boost gauge soon. Bad, man. But with it being stock, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, other than it being on 91 octane. Yeah. Do you have any plans of doing like a standalone ECU in it at all, or just so, keep it with OEM ECU? In the past, I've always done OEM ECUs. With my last uh, TME, I put an Evo 8 ECU. I wired that in there, and uh, I did the tuning myself on that. This one has the older uh, ECU. I know there's like a SETI mods, uh, so you can tune it yourself even on the older ones. So I may look into that. I haven't decided yet. That's to be determined. Yeah. Man, I, in the form that it's in right now, like, I think it's perfect, to be honest. But obviously, as Evo owners, you, you definitely want to mod the car. So what uh, what suspension is in it? So it's got the Olin, I think it's a Super Gymkhana. So it's their Gymkhana, I think they're called Super Gymkhana Olins, but it is an Olin suspension. Yeah, I had those on Olin suspension uh, on my Evo 9, and I love those things. Yeah. So, what we can do is, I don't see why you can't drive it yourself. Get a bill for it. What? No way. All right, we're off and going. Oh, 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 oh. That's the typical bucking of the Evo in first gear. Oh, this is going to be weird shifting. Jesus. Keep it in second gear like autocross. <laughs> Man, this... Oh, it's so weird being on this side of the car. I mean, I'm sure you're used to it, but... Man. Oh, yep, go. I did it. Uh, wow. And everybody does that the first time, too. They're driving it. Yeah. Right hand drive. I'm gonna let this person go because oh, they're I'm, looking up. The wipers are on. Do I need to go? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, back in the first. There we go. This is wild, man. You can give it a little bit if you want. Yeah. That's crazy. The response of the turbo is it's phenomenal, man. And it's got the uh, the titanium turbine, right? Uh, they, yeah, it should have the titanium turbine. They had the um, the 15G was an option or the 16G titanium, but they are both to be titanium turbine uh, turbos. The 15. Was an option only on the Tommy Mackinac. Let this go. Las Vegas. Yeah. Vegas always honking. I mean, this is wild. We have a very valid point, man. Always somebody uh, on your butt in Vegas and honking at you. I like the rawness of it, man. It's just like the sounds and just the suspension. Yeah, every put you, every input you put into the car, you get back immediately. That's bad. That's wild, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm normally not at a loss of words, but man, I this car is such an honor to be able to drive one of these, man. I just, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. That's why I'm solo. Like, I'll always have them. So if you want to go straight, you can turn around, or if you want to turn here and just make the loop that I did, either way is fine. Um, yeah, I'll probably just uh, do the loop, because I'm pretty familiar with this area. Man, I feel like a noob on this, man. 
technically I am. Oh my gosh. Definitely could get into a, a little bit of trouble with this thing, for sure. Especially having it on the street. And then you're in kilometers, so you don't even know how fast you're going. Yeah, man. This thing is amazing. Yeah, you definitely have me sold on one, man. What do you guys think? Should I buy one of these for the channel and build it? Comment down below and let me know. I have no where there is one for sale. <laughs> just saying. I think you'd have to take time, like me personally, I would have to take time just practicing the gears. Like, it's just so odd using your left hand. I mean, I'm not really ambidextrous, so I, I don't know. It, I had four years of practice out in Japan, so I make it look a little easy. I've done it for a while, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will not be uh, heel toe downshifting in this. I just don't think I'm uh, confident enough. I barely can figure out the turn signals. <laughs> That, that is definitely a unique perspective too, man. Like having to look far across the car when you're turning right is a little bit of a blind spot. Not gonna lie. Yeah, trying to go across the intersections can be a little dangerous. Cause you're... Wow, dude, this has been an honor, man. I I really do appreciate you letting me drive your baby, man. This. Driving a freaking TME in the United States, guys. That's that is wild. I always know how much fun it is, so I figured why not share that. You have a good point. I never drove or rode in uh, your first TME that you had, and you were here for a little while. I remember going to like the Vegas Evo meets and seeing it, but uh, never got a chance to actually uh, ride in it. But care of that now yeah for sure <laughs> well Gabe thank you so much for I mean pretty much a dream come true being able to drive one of these cars and no you got me sold man <laughs> so this car has how many miles on it so it's got about 107 207 thousand kilometers which is about 128 thousand miles okay. this one is not for sale uh, I bought a higher mileage one for me to keep and whatever needs to be changed out swap upgraded I can do on my own time that one, however, that one has 162,000 kilometers, which is 101,000 miles. Okay. That one will be listed for sale shortly. Uh, Do you so. have any social media that they'd be able to get in contact with you, or just want yes. them maybe if they they're interested in it, uh, hit me up and then I can contact you. Yeah, they can either hit you up or Gabe uh, underscore one two zero one is my Instagram. Instagram. Yep. Right on. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Yep, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I sure enjoyed filming this type of video. If you like these kind of videos, comment down below and let me know if I should do some more of them.